What's up you guys? It's Tyler from the Heron Tents and we're back today with a brand new video. Today I'm introducing a new series that I'm calling Premiere Pro Quick Tips. You know, these are just little small things that I do in Premiere Pro that I think will be helpful to you to save time and just speed up your workflow. So the first one that we're gonna start with today is the way I use markers in Premiere Pro to organize and section off my timeline so I can find my clips easier later. It's a really, really simple trick, but I think it'll save you guys a ton of time. So let's just jump into the computer and I'll show it to you right now. All right, welcome to the computer. We are in Premiere Pro CC 2017. And for today's quick tip, like I mentioned, we are talking all about markers and how I use them to organize my timeline. So what you guys are looking at right here, this is what I call a call sequence or a call timeline. And basically my process is that I bring in all the footage from each camera and then I create a separate sequence or a separate uh, timeline for every camera and then what I do is I go through every single clip from that camera and I pull out the best of the best moments and I drop them into their individual timeline so then what I have left with is I just have the best moments from that camera and I have them sorted out as you can see here based on different moments of the day so I've always done this and I actually would always just leave a little gap in between each section and that's all that I ever used to do. It wasn't until I discovered this trick about using markers that I learned a, a whole better way to do it and it made my workflow that much faster. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. It's super easy. So you can see above each section of clips here that I have them labeled with a title. Now the way I'm doing this, I'm just using markers. So a lot of you have probably used markers before. They're not a new concept or anything. You simply have to hit M on your keyboard and what you're gonna get is this little tick mark looking thing here. So you can double tap on it and you can give it a name. You can write some comments. Uh, these are actually really useful for other parts of the, uh, you know, of your editing as well. You can say, uh, you know, maybe take this out. You can leave yourself little comments and notes, things like that. But that's not what we're gonna use it for today. So uh, even if we name this, right, we name it example hit OK, all we have is a little tick mark. We can change the color, we can do all these other things, but in order to really get it to be useful for what we're trying to use it for, this is where the trick is. All you have to do is hold down Alt on your keyboard, and when you click on the marker, you'll see now there's two handles. Now simply by dragging out to the right um, or to the left, you can make this as long or short as you want, and that's it. Uh, that's a little hidden little gem that a lot of people don't know about using something really, really simple like markers. But uh, I use this for every single wedding that I shoot and for literally any video that I do. I always make call sequences and I'm always labeling things like this. It just makes it so much easier to find what you're looking for once you go back and you get into the final edit. All right, so that's it. I hope you guys found that tip helpful and I hope you guys are able to use that to keep your timelines more organized and to stream flow your editing process. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, I would really appreciate it if you'd consider hitting that subscribe button down below, giving this video a like. And if you wanna check us out in some of our other social media and all that kind of stuff, that's also linked in the description below. But until next time, this has been Tyler from The Heron Tins, and I'll see you in the next one.